What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry, and today I have another super fun mystery collectibles unboxing for you. Today, we are gonna be unboxing these 12 exclusive Disney Dorables villains figurines, so why don't we go ahead and get into it, guys? It's mystery time. <laughs> Here is the absolutely ginormous box of, <laughs> of Dorables. These Dorables that are the exclusives come in this giant, giant collection peak box. And so I ordered this from Amazon, by the way. There are a ton of great Dorables on Amazon if you're ever looking. And the funny thing about this is it came a little bit damaged. So it did have saran wrap or wrapping around it, but it did, the perforation was ripped and also the side was ripped. So they don't necessarily package or ship very well. Um, however, it survived and we're okay. Everything's still a mystery. So we've got the <laughs> Queen of Hearts and Lady Tremaine. Here are the figurines that we can get today. We can get Hades, Ursula, Evil Queen, Scar. The bonus is Maleficent as a dragon. We've got Dr. Facilier, Jafar, Cruella de Vil, Lady Tremaine, Captain Hook with his luxurious locks, Queen of Hearts, Maleficent, and Tamatoa. Disney Dorables are very popular little Disney mystery figurines. I have a ton of unboxings over here on the channel if you're interested in seeing more. I will link some of those for you down below. But guys, why don't we go ahead and get into this door. So we're gonna open the first door. And again, apologies for the state of the box. And then here's the other door. So they, at least these doors are still intact for the most part. And then here is the card that shows all the ones that you can get again. And so why don't we just start with this door that's already kind of open. And I'm gonna actually move this to the side a little bit so I can display the figurines for us. If you're ever interested in getting one of these guys, they are also available on Amazon. They are linked down in my description box down below as well. Bag number one, they come in these little mystery bags. Let's see who we have. Oh my gosh, they're flocked. Oh, I did not realize that they were flocked. Oh, we are so here for this. Hello, Lady Tremaine. <laughs> wow, so here is Lady Tremaine. She's looking very, very evil. The lighting's a little bit better. She's got very pursed lips. You can also see her little teal pendant. She is holding a cane, and I definitely think that Lucifer has to be nearby. I wish that they had Lucifer with her with this, and she does have flocked hair, which is so fun. If you have ever been to my channel before, I talk often about how I love flocked anything because I love fuzzy anything. So I'm just going to keep randomly um, opening doors here. Oh my gosh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, darn. I don't think we got the mystery. Do. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is my most favorite villain. <laughs> We have the stunning, the beautiful, the queen, the, the, the queen sea witch, the ultimate sea witch herself. We have Ursula. And Ursula is in this very shimmery style of skin, which we are so here for. Massive amounts of eyeshadow. Yes, queen. We love seeing her tiny mullet. So she's got her tiny wispy mullet in the back. It's interesting because they chose all white for her hair because she does have gray. So uh, the coloration is a little bit off. And as you'll see on sometimes on Dorables, they do have some imperfections. So we've got a little bit of paint um, in her hair and then a little bit of miscoloring in her eyes as well. So sometimes the paint jobs on these are a little bit hit and miss. So just be prepared for that if you are opening these guys to keep into your collection. Number three. Let's see who we have. Ooh, we have Scar. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my friend Katie would love this. Actually, I know she has this already, but here is Scar. And actually, Scar's paint job looks incredible for the most part. So Scar has this very prominent scar across his eyes. You can see like he has yellow and green eyes, whereas the people obviously have white in their eyes. So he looks very animal-esque. He has little tiny pursed lips and he's got a beautiful mane of hair waiting to um, sabotage Mufasa and Simba in some way, I am sure. So, so very evil. Okay. Oh, this is so fun. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for all of the 
Halloween festivities coming up in Disney World this year and Disneyland, of course. Bag number four. Let's see who we've got. Ooh. Okay, so I would love to know out of all of the villains that are listed here, these are the most common. What is your most favorite villain that is underrepresented in merchandise? Or under, or you feel like is just generally underrated? Here is the Evil Queen looking so beautiful. She has a really pretty shimmery crown. She's also holding um, the little heart box. And you can see her like amazing eyeshadow and eyebrow girl. She spent some time on these brows. How long did that take? <laughs> and then she's got this gorgeous flowing cape behind her looking like she's gliding across the ground looking for Snow White's heart. Girl, you're not gonna find it. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen that movie, it's 85 years old, but she doesn't actually get Snow White's heart. Okay, anyway, moving on. M well, no, I'm not moving on yet. My favorite villain, obviously, is Ursula. But my favorite non-mainstream villain is Lotso Hug and Bear, my fave. I have slept with Lotso Hug and Bear in my bed every night since that film came out. Okay, here is a Disney adorable bag number five. That one was hard to open. I can't explain it. Oh my goodness. So here's another one that I love so very much. It's the shadow man himself, Dr. Facili. Hey, Dr. Facili. Huh? Um, okay. First of all, he's got the tarot cards, which I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed with tarot readings right now. If you're interested in going to my main channel and finding out more about that, I'll link a video down below. <laughs> I've got a tarot card problem. Okay. So anyway, um, here is his little outfit. He's wearing a brown suit. You can also see like his pencil thin, pencil thin eyebrows, pencil thin mustache. And we are so here for it. He's like, here's your future. And then he's got like coattails hanging behind him. Oh, oh, he's got friends on the other side. And I am one of those friends. Well, I'm on this side. So I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. I'm not sure there's a rule book for this. Okay, anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Number six. Numero six. Also, I feel very strongly that the Dorables, we should be able to get a flocked Lotso and it would be fine. I do love that they included Tomatoa though. I have to say that, oh my goodness. <laughs> We've got Jafar and Jafar's got a sweet goatee going on, sir. He is a well-groomed man, and also he's a well-groomed man who knows how to do the eyeliners, okay? He's got some cat eye eyeliner. Look, Jafar, we are not judging you. We are so here for this. He also has eyebrows on fleek. We are so extremely proud of his upkeep, and I'm honestly thoroughly impressed. <laughs> Can you teach us how to do this winged eyeliner? Can we get a makeup tutorial, Jafar? Okay, anyway, we're going to boop him. Boop! Because he's like the first one that actually has had a boop. Oh, no! We missed a booping opportunity. Boop. Sorry, Ursula. Okay. And then he has his snake staff, golden outfit, looking so very stunning, purple feather. And then the back of him is not golden on his coat, but it is on his hat. But it's golden in the front. Paint. You know, painting is hard. Number six. We're doing quite well. I love the figurines. They, I love that the newer ones are a little bit bigger than that first series that came out. Because I do like the sizing of them. Okay. Who do we have for lucky number seven? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. He's shiny. I was about to say, this is so shiny. Uh, duh. It's Tomatoa. Tomatoa is a crab. He was a drab little crab once. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I apologize for this video in advance. We love Tomatoa. I am so here for this. I think that he has one of the best villain songs that have ever been created. He is looking so adorable. I feel like they could have added some gold shimmer onto his mouth, even though his body is gold shimmer. But what's really fun is you can actually see Maui's hook on his back, which I think is a very, very fun and very entertaining. But I do feel like this could have also been gold. But, you know, I don't design. I just, I just make, I just have opinions. <laughs> Maybe that's not the best thing. <laughs> oh my goodness, how funny. So I actually recently watched Moana and I was like, man, I forgot how good Tomatoa's song was. And uh, 
now it's like all I've been singing. Disney adorable, numero eight. Who do we have? We're just gonna cut her open. Let's see who we got. Oh, <gasps> Cruella de Vines. We've got traditional Cruella, okay. Oh, there's a hair on her. Ooh, plucked her, okay. <laughs> so here's Cruella, beautiful green eyeshadow. She's got very sparkly eyes, like very, very sparkly eyes. She actually doesn't have like a coloration in her eyes. They're just straight up black, love that. Um, the paint on this, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like kind of white and red like splattered on the top of her hair. Have you guys been noticing this with Dorables? There's like some imperfections in the paint lately and it's driving me nuts. There didn't used to be this bad of, I'm not even sure that's gonna come off. Anyway, she's got really tiny thin lips. She's got little hands, boop, green earrings. And then there is her black and white split hair. So very beautiful. Love the new Cruella film. Someone mentioned to me that I should rewatch the 101 Dalmatians live action. And I am so on board with that. Have you guys seen that one recently? Because I do think that they painted Cruella in the new film, obviously, as like it was showing her story. But there were also things that she showed that they showed in that one that were a little bit different as well. And so I would like to compare the two and see kind of what they were all about. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. This is what they should have done to Tomato, but no, they did it to Captain Hook. Captain Hook, sir, you are gorgeous. First of all, how very dare you have this hair? This is like princess style hair. You know how they say like Disney princesses gave me like an unrealistic expectation of hair? No, it was Captain Hook. Look at that. It is all the way past his feet and it is flowing in the wind. He's got his hook. He's got his tiny dagger. He is a very menacing looking, looking, look at those eyebrows, silver sparkle, but wow. I love a glittered, I love a glittered adorable. Honestly, why don't they do glitter for all of them? Tomatoa would have been especially good because like his song is shiny, but like that is very aesthetically pleasing. Very much so. Okay, we are down to our last few. Going with, yes. <laughs> this is actually one of my most favorite adorables. I've talked about this on the channel before. So she's looking very angry. She's screaming and it's making her face red, which we are so here for. And the best detail of this is that the her tongue is a heart. And I think it is just so extremely precious. She's got a little heart scepter that she is holding. Really fun red and yellow and black dress. And then she's got got the collar behind her and the double bun with a very gorgeous shiny crown. We love her off with their heads. <laughs> yes, queen. <laughs> I actually dressed up as her, uh, I think last year. Yeah, it was last year during Halloween. I'll post a picture of that here if you didn't see that little photo shoot that I did, but it was so entertaining. Okay, we only have two left. We only have two left, my friends. And let's see who we have. Ooh, we have Maleficent. Maleficent girl. So she, oh, she's beautiful. So she's got like a green shimmery skin, which is very gorge. She also has a really nice scepter and she's like a shimmer color, except for her purple on the back of her dress but oh man I love her horns let's give her a little boop boop oh she's so pretty she is so very pretty I've been on a sleeping beauty kick also because I went to Disneyland recently and oh my goodness I live I live for some Maleficent I got a really cool Maleficent bag too that was like everyone everyone stopped me and talked to me about it. it was so funny and it was like a really it was like an older bag as well it's from irregular choice and it's just maleficent's face and man people loved it Ooh! oh my gosh guys we have hades so hades is getting ready to celebrate a birthday coming up very soon i think it is their 20 20th or 25th no, I think it's their 25th anniversary of the film. I'll, I'll put it here just to be so I can correct myself. But um, I can't believe that movie is that old. But such an underrated villain. 
Here's Hades. He's got gold shimmery eye, or excuse me, gold sparkly eyes. He is wringing his hands. And this is just a very interesting color. There is shimmer in his hair, but it's so close to the color of his skin that you can't really, you can't really tell a big difference there. And his uh, cloak is very, very cool looking because you can see it's got the little uh, wisps that come up because it kind of looks like as he's walking, like there's smoke billowing behind him. And I think they did a good job on that detail. Overall, I mean, the paint job is gorgeous. They did a great, great job on this one. Um, but there is little Hades. Happy, happy anniversary, Hades. So I would love to know which one of these guys was your favorite. I have got to give it to sparkly Captain Hook, Ursula, my girl, and an honorable mention to my man, Dr. Facili Hay. Dr. Facili Hay. <laughs> Guys, this was so, so much fun. If you're interested in seeing more Disney Durable unboxings, be sure to check out the description down, box down below with lots and lots of links for you. Also, if there is anything that you ever want to request that we open over here on the channel, my DMs on Instagram are always open, or you can put them in the comments down below. I would love to know what you would like to see next. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate you so very much. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN. Bye. Bye.